Another significant advance in our field has been the refinement of technologies to freeze eggs, sperms and embryos by a new technique called vitrification. Here behind me you see some of the cans we have which contain liquid nitrogen gas which is at minus 196 degrees and which is where we can store, actually store human eggs, human sperms and human embryos for an indefinite number of months or years as the couple would desire. One would ask what is the need to freeze these gametes? For sperm, it is very important, especially when the patient is traveling a lot. We know that the husband is often not available at the time of a procedure. This is one indication where we can collect the semen sample from the husband in advance, freeze the sperm, maybe a couple of vials, so that the wife does not have to miss the treatment, even if he is not physically present here at the time of the cycle or at the time of her ovulation. Also, there are some men who on demand are unable to produce a semen sample. This particular technique helps them too because they can easily produce a sample in advance which we can freeze and keep so as to avoid any kind of unnecessary anxiety on the day of the procedure. In addition to this, there are several other indications for sperm freezing which you can easily read about on the relevant section in our website. What is more important is the field of egg freezing which I'm sure all of you have been hearing in the media all the time over the past few months. Egg freezing has become very common now, especially amongst young women who are opting to have a big career, to have a career which is really good compared to the skills and the studies and education that they have gone through and they are not ready to just settle down, get married and have a child at the earliest. So if they are likely to postpone their childbearing, if they are likely to postpone having a family to a later age, the downside would be that at that age she would not have good enough healthy eggs to have her own baby. And that is why more and more young women today are opting for egg freezing as an option. In the past two years alone, we have frozen eggs for more than 50 women, all who are in their early or mid 30s, who are very sure that they do not want to start a family in, until their early 40s. And it is becoming more and more popular and it is strongly, strongly advocated for all such women who are opting for a career-based uh, lifestyle. So this was another very important indication for freezing and of course the most important is embryo freezing which has practically given a big boost to the success rates of all in vitro fertilization programs. Today we know that with, if a patient at our clinic undergoes one fresh and one frozen cycle if she is under 35 years of age there is a 70% chance that she will take home a live baby with just these two embryo transfer procedures and this is all thanks to a new revolutionary vitrification technique which we implemented at our clinic about two years ago uh, from which was uh, transferred the technology was transferred from a leading clinic of Japan where one of our staff members went for intensive training and since then we have just not looked back also we there is a tendency now that we are trying to freeze more and more embryos for more and more indications for example if a woman produces more than 20 eggs and if there is a risk of hyperstimulation, we freeze all the embryos. If she has just two embryos, if she is a poor responder, less eggs, again we freeze the embryos. If there is a problem with the lining of the uterus, if she's had a previous tubal or an ectopic pregnancy or previous miscarriages, several other such indications where we would like to prepare the uterus properly, prepare the womb properly, make sure that the lining of the uterus is proper before we put in good embryos. All these are now modern day indications for freezing embryos. So currently at our center, just about 40% of patients undergo a fresh embryo transfer, 60% undergo frozen embryo transfer, giving a cumulative pregnancy rate with one fresh and one frozen of as high as 60 to 70%.